In this video, we will talk about mute and unmute settings in Zoom. If you host Zoom meetings on a regular basis, you must understand how mute and unmute options work in Zoom. The problem is that there are so many options at so many places that sometimes it gets confusing and not every meeting is same. Sometimes few options are good for you while on other times those options are not. And most of Zoom tutorials, they try to cover each and every settings in one video, which is not good because Zoom is a very big application. It has hundreds of options. So therefore, I decided to focus only on mute and unmute options. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to teachers and students and some of the subjects which I teach. So if you are interested in these topics, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. No, you cannot unmute the participants without their consent due to security and privacy reason. No, I am in my Zoom settings tab. So when you log into your Zoom account, you will be in the profile area. Then you click on settings and you will see these settings. The first option you should check is this one. Mute all participants when they join a meeting because you cannot unmute your participants without their consent. If you are an online teacher and you are conducting a class in Zoom meeting, then you might want to get unmute permissions from your students in the beginning. For example, if you want them to participate in screen sharing in other class activities. And there is an option in Zoom which will allow you to get this pre-approval. And the result will be that if you are hosting any future meetings, you will have the permission to unmute all those students in the Zoom video conferencing call. And you don't have to get the permission again and again. If you want to get this pre-approval, then you click on this in meeting advanced and then you go nearly at the bottom. And this is the option you need request permission to unmute. So if you click this option in the on direction, when your students log into your meeting, they will see a screen something like this. And after the scheduled by your name will be there. And if you will be hosting any future meetings, then you will have their permissions to unmute them. So this is one way to get the permissions to unmute them. And then what you will do is you will start the meeting and you click in these three dots, then participants, and then you will see all the participants here, a button here to mute and unmute, and you will have to unmute all those participants because you have the permission now. No, if you are not a teacher and if you don't conduct a regular meeting with the same participants, your action plan should be a little different. And now what you should do is you should start with this option, all participants mute it. And once you have started the meeting, you click on these three dots, participants, and then these three dots here. And then you click on this, ask all to unmute. And once you click on this, all of your participants will see this screen. The host would like you to unmute. And then they will have the option whether to unmute themselves or stay muted. And they can select any option. And then in this area, make sure that you are allowing participants to unmute themselves. So this option is by default ticked and it should stay in this way so that your participant should have the ability to unmute themselves. So this is the correct way of handling mute and unmute in a Zoom meeting. So this was a very short video where I wanted to focus on mute options in a Zoom meeting. So I hope that you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.